TH Elite is a smart temperature and humidity monitoring switch. With an LCD screen, TH Elite keeps monitoring the temperature and humidity in real time. Once they reach your preset threshold, or the device's on-off state changes, you will receive the push notification on the phone. Support to connect 16 amperes max high load equipment, like electric floor heating. It has a dry contact terminal. TH Elite supports three kinds of temperature monitor and humidity monitor sensors, THS01, temp and humid sensor. DS18B20, waterproof temp sensor. An MS01, soil moisture sensor. Using the RL560 sensor extension cable, the distance to THS01 and DS18B20 can be extended to 60 meters, and to MS01 can be extended to 10 meters. TH Elite supports adding to Home Assistant for control and automation through EEWE Link add on. The connection of this device is made with input phase and neutral, and output phase and neutral to the controlled unit. At the top, there is an RJ9 socket for the sensor the device works with, and a dry contact output where you can connect an appliance powered by another source to control it on and off. To read data, we will use the temperature and humidity sensor, THS01. When we connect the sensor, we put the protective cover and turn on the power. The sensor data is displayed on the device LCD. After powering on, the device will enter the Bluetooth pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash and release. Download. We link app from Google Play or Apple App Store. Follow the instructions on the app to complete the account registration. Tap the plus icon. Make sure your mobile phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Select Bluetooth pairing. Tap next. Tap connect next to your device. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Tap save. Add the device to one of your rooms. The pairing is successful. There are two ways to control the TH Elite, through the phone and through the button on the device. You can see temperature and humidity history up to six months back in time. In the schedule function, you can add a schedule for when, and at what time of the week, the device should turn, on or off. With the timer function, we can set a time during the day, when the device should turn, on or off. With the loop timer function, you can set a time and date, for the device to start turn on, or off, repeatedly. More features can be seen in the device settings, such as Push Notice, where you will receive notifications on your phone about changes in temperature and or humidity in the parameters set by you. Power on state mode. When power to the device is interrupted, on recovery, you can set how the device is triggered, whether to be turned on or off, or to restore to the last state it was in. When inching mode is enabled, the device will automatically turn off after being on for a while after each start. You can change the temperature unit to Fahrenheit or Celsius. In auto mode, you can set the device you have connected to be controlled by temperature or humidity. 
Then set a high and low temperature for the device to turn on or off. And finally, you set the period in which this setting is effective. Tap Save. To turn it on, press the Start button in Auto setting, and the device will turn off when the temperature drops below 20 degrees as we set it.